Hello ladies and gents, welcome. It's good to have you here. Today we've got a piece of piece of ash. Um, it has burrs in the middle right about there and uh, little bits of it uh, here as well. But it's very off balance. Uh, one side is got about an inch, an inch and a half thickness other side is like three and a half so it's going to be a, a bit uh, difficult to turn but it's mounted securely by four screws at the back and we're going to uh, see my uh, see and tr uh, try make a wall mount and the good the exciting part for me is I'm going to try a reactive a metal reactive paint and uh, after I uh, apply the reactive uh, catalyst I'm going to get like a rust effect which I'm looking forward to see how it goes and we'll have some parts of it natural so don't worry some parts of it will be natural and oiled But the rest, uh, we're going to apply reactive paint. Okay, I'm going to sand this now, um, uh, get the burnt marks uh, surfaces sanded, but some I'm going to leave it behind and some of the edges we're going to also burn as well um, and then uh, apply the paint. I want to make it like an oldish ancient looking uh, piece I think that looks better, more 
both sides are kind of the same this way. So I'm going to start on the center and uh, we'll apply the uh, metal paint. We leave that, uh, we leave the first coat to dry and then apply the next one. Okay, so I'm going to apply this uh, reactive copper uh, patina paint, they call it. I don't want to make it so as if it's like nice and round. I want it some parts to be still left behind like wood. So uh, it's it's not going to be like a perfect round. That's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to let that dry now and then uh, we'll apply the next coat and apply the activator on it. Okay, now I'm going to apply bronze uh, uh, patina paint on this uh, rings that I got and some parts of it will go on top but that's, uh, but, uh, that's part of a design as well. I don't know how it's going to react uh, look between copper and this though but we're going to give it a try. This is like a test piece for me. It's been a it's been a long time since we've done anything <laughs> crazy like this, so I thought it's due. Hopefully, at the end, it looks it looks uh, all right. But uh, I need to learn how to do it, like at some point, like because I'm I've got a better piece, like a uh, full of bare piece which I have got similar design in mind, but it's always better to do it on a uh, less uh, expensive uh, piece than to completely jump up to a good uh, expensive piece without knowing what you're doing. I obviously don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I'm testing. That's what you gotta do. You gotta always be open-minded to to give other pieces, uh, other techniques a go, like learn and expand on your uh, knowledge. So we still haven't applied reactive to make it like a rustic, so that will come. I'm gonna let that dry. I was waiting for this, but I thought, why should I wait for that? alone i'm gonna apply the other colors wait for all of them to dry and then apply the second coat so now we'll wait till it dry okay it's dry now let's apply the copper okay. So 
so that gave it a little texture as well with the sponge that's that's why I'm using the sponge so now let's apply the uh, the bronze all around so I don't want to cover all the spots for the uh, bronze because some parts of it I want to rust and some parts of it in the background to remain like like how it is so Okay, so I'm gonna apply now this uh, reactive uh, rusting. So I'll come back once that uh, uh, is fully rusted and everything. Uh, see how it looks. I bet it's gonna totally change color. I think that looks better now with a little bit of black texture around. Uh, there we have it guys. I've applied a coat of uh, lacquer on top of it, but a matte one. And that's the effect I got. But I did sand lightly some of the edges to get that effect, uh, contrast between light and dark shades. I think that's that made it a little bit better. But to be honest with you, I personally not a fan of it. Maybe it's because my first time trying this uh, reactive paint, but I'm not a fan of it. So I'm not going to pretend I like it, I don't like it. Maybe if I use um, gold uh, cream gilt, I, I might like that a bit more. I don't know. So, but that's the thing, you won't know if you like it if you don't try it. So I've tried it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to try my best next time, achieve a better, better contrast. But yeah, that's that's what I got for first time. Let me know what you guys think. If you know, uh, if you know what I did wrong or what I can improve on this for the next one, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Don't forget to like the video. It helps a lot. Thank you. Take care guys, bye.